Hi guys, my name is Steven and welcome to video number seven in my new series where I'm building a re login registration system using CodeIgniter. Now, uh, in this video, what I'm going to be talking about is sessions. Um, last video, I said we were going to log in right after um, the right in the callback, right after I validated whether or not they can log in. But after thinking about it, I think that's actually a bad idea. What would be a much better idea is to do it right after we check if the form validation runs, which means there's no errors rather than uh, only checking this one error. So um, this is definitely the right way to do it now that I think about it. So um, before we actually start um, using sessions, we have to auto load it. And remember that problem we had before where it was asking us for encryption keys. Well, we'll just try and get that again. We'll auto load the session database, the session library, and refresh our website. And we have a problem. It says an error was encountered. In order to use the session class, you are required to set an encryption key for your config file. Now, um, I'll actually try and I'll navigate back to the main login page. And yes, OK, now we're still getting this error. The reason for this is, is we actually need to go into our config file, open it up, and then scroll pretty far down. Config in the config folder, of course. Um, all the way down to uh, where you'll see encryption key. Okay, if you use the encryption class or the session class, you must set an encryption key. Now this is because of one of secure uh, one of CodeIgniter's really good security features, which is it doesn't use just regular PHP sessions, or it does, but it encrypts all the keys and all the values, and it's really really secure that way. But the only way that it can do that is if we specify an encryption key, and it won't generate one for us. Um, so what we actually have to do is go online, or it can be any string. I think it can be up to 50 characters of just like blah, 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 blah. But, of course, this isn't very secure. It's only letters. It's easily crackable. You know, um, This is essentially the, the final front, and probably by far one of the hardest things to, to crack with PHP sessions. Um, so what we'll do is I've actually found a website called randomkeygen.com. And it actually has code, code igniter encryption keys right on here. And you'll see if you refresh the page, these are randomly generated. So nobody else will have, uh, will have the same encryption key as you. So what I'll do is I'll just copy one of these and paste it. Um, what? OK, cool. Um, and then just paste it in the encryption key right here. And that will get rid of that error for us. Now, obviously, mine, you know what mine is and I won't know what yours is and in fact nobody will know what your what yours is the fact the thing is actually if you're planning on going on professional with this encryption key you should uh, keep that extremely private and not let anyone else see it because that way if they had the encryption key then they could crack all the sessions all the session data in your on your website which is a huge security risk so keep this safe um, or come up with some really cool name or encryption key that you've thought of, which I don't recommend. I recommend that you actually get a random key, gen randomly generated key. But, you know, I'm sure there's other websites that'll do this for you too. Okay, um, so now re refresh this. Our error is gone, and uh, we can now use the session class. Uh, so why don't we actually set our session data after the form validation has been run. Uh, we'll go, and we'll go this session. Uh, and then we go set underscore user data. And this receives an array. And instead of actually typing an array into this field, I'm actually just going to pass in data and then create a data array. Array. Uh, it's not a function. What are you doing, Steven? Cool. And we'll say email. this input post. So essentially, whatever they typed in for their email. So I'm actually storing their email address in the session data. And then we can actually go, uh, we'll say is logged in. Because that's a nice quick way to check if they're logged in. And then we'll set this to 1. Or 1, so it's not a string. Cool. Now, um, essentially what this is going to do is it's going to set all of this user data um, and, in, and make these session variables or whatever. So I'll just do it and show you what, it, show you what I mean. 
Um, one more thing I also want to do is so I can show you that the session data is in the members view. I'm actually going to open up some PHP tags and echo out everything that's in the sessions. And there's a special function that we use in sessions called uh, called all. Hold on, I'm actually looking at the yes, all user data. Okay, so we'll go. I'm going to echo out some pre tags so we can so it looks cool. I mean, and by cool, I mean um, I mean more organized and like session data should. And we're going to echo this session all underscore user data and we're going to try and log in again and see what happens so we'll go hello at welcome.com password is password um, there and we're getting an array uh, echo oh Right, and that's because we want to print R it instead of echo it. Refresh, and there's our, ses our session data. You can see the session ID, um, which is randomly generated every time you create a new session. You can see my IP address. Holy crap, that sucks. Should I blur that out? Yeah, I should. Damn it. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, probably gonna blur that out so you hopefully won't be able to see this <laughs> okay um, and then uh, you can see like my browser my current version you can also see uh, the email that I said now I actually set this I said the hello the email um, key in the session data to be hello at welcome.com and my is logged in is equal to one or true um, this is really cool because now that I'm logged in you know like I can check this stuff, right? So I can go to like, say my my members controller on my main controller. Hold on, the main members function on my main controller. And before I actually load the members view, I can check to see if they're logged in. So I can go if this this session um, user data is logged in. And obviously this will be one or nothing. So if it's true, then I'll load the members view. Else, how about I redirect you to a restricted page. Uh, so main slash restricted. Cool. So you can't even access this page. And then I'll just quickly create a little function called restricted and send you to the restricted view which says nah -uh. I definitely didn't spell it right res it. that looks much better and then that'll load the restricted view cool so let's check it out now I'm still here which is good excellent I will uh go back and now I'm actually oh um, why don't we create also a log out um, you know we'll just do it in the next video um, thanks for watching